back to Polmesa channel. In this video, we will walk you through the operation interface of the Pol M60 Ultra Solar Charge Controller. After powering on, the main screen displays three key sections. Photovoltaic data, battery charging data, and load operation modes. In the photovoltaic section, you can switch between PV input voltage, PV input power, and accumulated power generation by pressing the PV button. In the battery section, you can navigate through the charging voltage, charging current, device temperature, calibration voltage, power communication code, battery type, boost charging voltage, flow charging voltage, under voltage recovery voltage, and under voltage cutoff voltage using the up or down keys. The low section allows you to set the load operation mode. The top right corner shows the operation mode. 3.0 indicates 9 mode with no charging. 4.0 signifies fast charging mode. 7.0 indicates boot charging mode. And 8.0 represents flow charging mode. First, let's look at the calibration voltage setting. When there is a discrepancy between the battery voltage detected by the controller and the voltage measured by a multimeter, you can manually calibrate the controller's battery voltage using the calibration voltage setting. Next, we have the parallel communication code settings. If you are not using parallel operation, you can skip this setting. In a parallel system with multiple controllers, the parallel communication code helps to define the master and slave units, ensuring that all slave units charging program are synchronized with the master units for optimal charging programs. Code 0 represents single unit mode, while controller greater than or equal to 0, 01 indicates parallel operation. The unit with the lowest code will act as the master. For example, in a system with 5 controllers, set parallel communication codes as 01, 02, 03, 04, and 05 respectively. The controller with code 1 will function as the master, and the other 4 will act as slaves. If the 01 controller fails, the system will continue to operate with the 02 controller as the new master. Similarly, if the 02 controller fails, the 03 controller will take over as the master. Moving on to the battery type settings, the controller supports 40 predefined battery types, including solid C battery, GEL battery, fluid lead C battery, 4 cell silicon iron phosphate battery, 7 cell silicon iron phosphate battery, 8 cell silicon iron phosphate battery, 15 cell silicon iron phosphate battery, 16 cell silicon iron phosphate battery, 3 cell ternary lithium battery, 6 cell ternary lithium battery, 7 cell ternary lithium battery, 13 cell ternary lithium battery, 14 cell ternary lithium battery, and the USC option. Selecting USC allows manual configuration of charging voltage and current. For other specific battery types, the controller uses preset charging voltage based on the selected battery type. We will now enter menu settings to demonstrate how to customize the charging parameters. First, set a system voltage to match the battery bank you have connected. Next, configure the maximum charging current. This setting limits the charging current to ensure it matches the connected battery and prevent potential damage from excessive current. The configurable range is 2 to 60 amperes. Then set a boost charging voltage, flow charging voltage, under voltage recovery voltage, and under voltage cutoff voltage, referring to the recommended value in the battery specification sheet. After copying the battery settings, let's move on to the load operation mode settings. 
24H indicates that the load output is always on. In this mode, you can toggle the load output by briefly press the set button. 0H represents slide control mode. In this mode, the controller will turn on the load output after some set and turn it off after some rise. 01H to 23H indicates light control plus time control mode. In this mode, the controller will turn on the load output after some set for a specific duration. The number represents the duration in hours. With 01H indicates 1 hour and 2H indicates 2 hours. That concludes our overview of the Po M60 Ultra Solar Charge Controller's operation interface. We hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.